Welcome, and welcome to you. So here we're going to actually set up the S8. So let's go ahead and get started. Hit the start button. Okay, so off camera I just put in my Wi-Fi password. I don't have a SIM card in this yet. I'll be putting one in later. But anyway, here we're being asked to agree some terms and conditions. Go ahead and agree to all. Hit next. So right now it's checking for updates. And I'll go ahead and add my account info here. Okay, so after I put after you put in your Google info, which you don't have to do either, you can skip that as well. Um, you're asked if you want to do all this stuff, turn stuff on or off. Go ahead and hit next. Okay, so now it's asking me which device do I want to restore data and apps from. And this is my S7 Edge. I actually uh, used using my Nexus 5 the other day for reasons I do not actually remember. But anyway, um, so here you can select one of these or you can say no and you'll actually get the option to restore it through Samsung's services and whatever and that's where you'll use the data cable so I'm gonna go ahead and do don't restore and then I'm gonna set up a fingerprint really quickly on the uh, boneheaded fingerprint that's right there which should have been put here but whatever okay I got my fingerprint set up now it's asking do I want notifications on my lock screen, you can either turn this on or off depending on how much privacy you want. I'm going to leave it on for right now. And then you've successfully set up your lock screen. Hit next. So here we're being asked if we want to use AT&T setup and transfer. I never use this. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this. And really, between Android and Samsung, I really don't see the need for this to begin with, but yay for clear, uh, carrier bloatware. So I'm going to skip. <laughs> Looks like you're skipping setup. You damn right I'm skipping it. Exit. So now we're being asked to use sign in with Samsung. Again, you can skip this or sign in. Uh, I do have a Samsung account just because that's how you get themes and icons and stuff like that. So after you put your Samsung password in, it asks you if you want to restore from a phone. I'm going to do that at a later time, so I just skipped that, and it just took me into the phone itself. But, so there we have it. There's the phone. Bixby, I'll set that up later as well. And there we go. So there's the quick initial setup. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you something real quick here. So this smart switch app is what you'll use to set the phone up from another device. But for now... There we have it. There's the phone. It is ready to go. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. So until next time, I hope you enjoy the upcoming onslaught of S8 videos. Take care.